2017 marks the 100 year anniversary for the Rotary International Foundation. We're at City Hall in St. Catharines to celebrate the milestone with a flag raising ceremony. A hundred years ago during at the convention, uh, $26.50 was left over and they didn't know what to do with it. So Arch Kump, who was the president of Rotary International, said we need to do something. So what he decided to do was to start a foundation. So the foundation is to do good in the world. We do things with water, help poverty. Uh, ne uh, last few years we've been working on eradicating polio. So the 2650 is billions and billions of dollars right now. Uh, apparently I've been told we're the number three uh, endowment in the world. We noticed of, of course the uh, polio flag being raised today as well. Uh, how significant of a contribution has been made to end polio? Uh, we've been giving billions of dollars to it. Uh, we've been lucky with the Canadian government. It's been matching our dollars two for one. So for every dollar we give, they give two. And the um, Gates Foundation gives as well. So if we give a dollar, five dollars actually goes to eradicate polio. So we're almost down to, I think we're down to under 40 cases a year right now. But unless you finish it, you, you don't eradicate a disease. Because to think that this $1 billion that's endowed, this $3 billion that we've given, it didn't come from big corporations that have huge profits. This came from us Rotarians out of our pockets giving annually whatever they can afford, whatever makes them feel comfortable. The Rotary Club of St. Catharines has been serving the community since 1921. Currently they support a variety of local initiatives including donations to the Meridian Center and Performing Arts Center as well as spearheading major community events like Ribfest and the Rotary TV auction. Rotary is such an important aspect of our community. Um, they've done so much from a civic point of view as a civic leader. Um, just recently they've helped out with the band shell, the new band shell in Port Dalhousie um, by funding it to allow more electrical uh, options for bands and, and that's going to make a real impact in our revitalization efforts in Port Dalhousie. So uh, that's just the most recent but there's a long laundry list of things that they've done to help uh, the city and their projects and our community as a whole. So that was really important and really honored to be there to uh, help them uh, celebrate their century of uh, serving above self as they say. You know, I said it when we raised the flags, but it, it's not unlike our communities in Niagara where we've got three Rotary Clubs that work so well together and coming together under the same, for the same reason, service above self. And so 100 years and, and celebrating that uh, through uh, their th uh, philanthropy, through their uh, volunteerism and, and all the, the great work that they do in the community is fabulous. I think what happens is we've been a very quiet club in the past and didn't want people to know what we were doing. Years ago it was um, only men that were allowed to belong, not ladies. And it was something that you had to belong to a business, uh, so exactly you had to be a business person to belong. Foundation. And that's not the way today. Today it can be many different uh, aspects to belong. So I think it was kind of a quiet club, but now we're realizing anybody can be a Rotarian. Rotary is not for the elite. It is for ordinary people like you and me who want to make a positive difference in the community. To find out more about how you can get involved, go to rotaryniagara.org. For The Source, I'm Andrew Thompson.